Welcome to our Stick Handling 101. In this video, we'll go over the basics of stick work. The top hand holds the stick at the end with your thumb pointing to the ground. Make sure you don't twist the palm of your hand up and elbow to the side. The grip shouldn't be too wide nor too narrow. You want to hold the stick at around forearm length. When you go into the hockey stance, you need to keep the bottom hand moving freely on the stick and just let it be the guide. It should be sliding up and down the stick when stick handling a puck. Your top hand should be doing most of the work and the main action of holding and cradling the cup. Keep your shoulders and arms loose to have enough range of motion. Pro tip! Practice by placing an empty toilet tissue tube in your lower hand and concentrate on just using the top hand to move and control the puck. Just be aware this may not work as well with the sticks that have a rubberized grip. Once you have these basics in mind, it's time to put them to the test. There are several pieces of equipment you can use for practicing your stick handling skills. The first one is stick handling trainer that can have different shapes but usually forms a straight line. There are many variations to practice. The important thing to keep in mind is to stay in the hockey stance, bend knees, feet shoulder width apart, focus on the movement of your bottom hand and your hand-eye coordination. The key is to maintain correct technique while going as fast as possible. There is a small disadvantage to the stick handling trainer. You have to lift your stick off the ground as you go back and forth, which usually does not happen on the ice. If you don't have the stick handling trainer, don't worry. You can also use pucks or basically any other object that you have lying around the house and either do the same thing as with the trainer or you can try some of these variations, especially if you do not have too many pucks to play around with. Practice your reach on both sides and move the puck around your entire body. The stick handling is also one of the areas you can improve on the skate mill we use at our camps. The skating build makes you focus even more and work harder. Another great piece of equipment is the attack triangle, which was designed to challenge you by replicating the positioning of an opponent's skates and stick. With the open lane between the simulated skates and extending stick, the attack triangle forces players to develop puck movement skills and stick handling ability. Be careful to move your stick around the opponent's stick in the correct way as shown in the video. You have to go over the blade of the stick, not the shaft, which is too short here. There are again several variations you can practice. If you have some old broken hockey sticks, don't throw them away just yet. Put them to use in your training instead. These are great for some other moves you want to be practicing. The benefit is the sticks are not too tall, so you don't have to lift up your practice stick too much and can have better control of the puck. Last thing we'll show you is how to connect these drills with some reaction time training. For example, you can download the app My Floorball and set it up to your needs and skill level. Then you just turn on the app on your phone, tablet, laptop or TV Follow the instructions on the screen and try to react as fast as you can. Okay, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to practice these as much as you can.